Okay, we're gonna talk today about adding and subtracting polynomials. So before adding and subtracting, we're gonna talk about simplifying because that's like the, the step we need to do when we're adding or multiplying. So basically to do a simplification, you have different terms here. Each of the terms are separated by a plus or a minus. Okay, so 4n is a term, 17 is a term. It's a constant term, but it's a term. So what we're gonna do now is underline like terms. So I have uh, 4n here. I mean, negative 4n, negative 4n, I have, uh, that's it. So like terms is when they have the same variables with the same exponent. Now, n to the third power and n to the third power, those are like terms. So what I'll do is I underline different so I can easily see and differentiate one from, from another. And I have 17 with 16 those are numbers so now i'm going to add or subtract the like terms negative 4n and negative 4n is negative 8n negative 9n to the third and 4n to the third we add it is negative 5n to the third and 17 and 16 you add it that would be 33 so plus 33 so this will be the answer. Now, before I continue, let me tell you that it's not the same n plus n, that's equal to n. And then when we do n times n, that's equal n squared. So those two things are different things. We're talking today about adding and subtracting. We're gonna do multiplying and dividing in, in the Gibson. Okay, another thing we can do is when we're adding polynomials, we the first step is to remove the parentheses because when we have a plus before a parentheses it doesn't matter because there is not any change everything keeps the same but if you have a minus before a parentheses that will change all the signs inside the parentheses so the first step will be if i just 16x minus 9y plus 9z minus 8x plus 24z plus 12y plus 3z. So that's what I said that you should underline different like terms because you see this long expression is very easily to get confused. So if you take the time first to underline, that's like plan or prep, prep to do the exercise. So x, I have another x here, that's it. Now the y's, I have a y here, uh, I have another y here, and then I have z, z, and z. So now I go very easily to each of the variables. So 16x minus 8x is 8x. Then I go to the y's, so negative nine, and I have a 12, so that will be three y positive, so plus three y. And then I have 9, 24, and 3. So that would be 36. Okay, 36z so plus 36z. So, and this is the answer. Good, so let's do on one more example now with the minus. So we have a minus before a parenthesis, that means that we're gonna change everything inside the parentheses. So this minus is like a minus one that you are multiplying by each of the terms. That's why it said, just change the signs, but what's happening is this, you are multiplying the minus one for each of the term. So those three, it will be 8x minus 16 minus 12k. Now those two keeps the same because they are not affected by the minus because the minus one here is multiplying only the parentheses, but those two are outside the parentheses, so you don't have to multiply them. So you, you write it the same. You write the first expressions, ak plus five. And now this is uh, this uh, was a minus here is plus, so here is going plus. So now you do the same underline like terms. So let's go with the x first, x, x, and x. Then go with k, k, and k. 
And if I want, I don't have to underline those two because they are numbered. Or if I want, I do it. So it's up to you. This is just a way to help you organize yourself. So 5x and an ax is 13 minus 1 is 12. So 12x. 12x. Then I have the k. So k uh, minus a minus 12. This negative 20 plus 3. So negative 17 minus 17k. And then the numbers, five minus 16, it will be negative 11, okay? So done, that's it. This is uh, simplifying, adding and subtracting polynomials. So you can pause the video anytime. If you got it, you can like do it again and pause the video and do your own and then you check whichever you want. So God bless you and uh, we'll keep doing more videos.